talk not only about brands but also what goes into making one. Now this is a brand that's synonymous with its outdoor advertising and not to mention its tongue-in-cheek brand mascot. I'm talking about Amul. In our cover story we trace the entire history of Amul's marketing strategy and how that's evolved over the years. Take a look. Manmohan Singh offering American President Barack Obama a slice of bread? Or perhaps Devi Gowda beating political rivals in a sprint? Sure, these aren't real-life instances, but such metaphors have quite literally been traffic stoppers. Over the years, Amul's outdoor advertising campaigns have caught the imagination of the entire nation, towering over crucial landmarks of all major Indian cities, picking current affairs whether it's politics, sports, society or good old entertainment. Our hoarding campaign is there last uh, 45 years and we are using a topicality and uh, we are very consistent in that and every week one or two topical ads are coming on our hoardings where we catch what is latest and use it in a humor way, in funny way so which attracts people. Dakuna Communications has been handling the campaign since its inception in 1966 and every week is a challenge for the advertising team as it's required to come out with a fresh campaign every four days. What's more, each campaign has to be region specific so Dakuna and team have little choice but to keep their eyes on the ball. It's really up to us to figure out what is the key topic of so every Monday morning the writer Manish Deberi and myself, we sit and we decide what is the key topic for the month or for the week or for the fortnight. We run a list of like say seven, eight possible topics that we might handle. Pick one and then we go for it. We run different topics in different parts of the, of the country. So what is going on right now in the south will have its own topic which won't be seen or Risa. But all the hard work does come with its benefits. Where rivals spend as much as 7% on their advertising, Amul manages to spend less than 1% of its revenues on their ads. Our ad spend is always less than 1% of our turnover. A typical food company in India will be spending around 6 to 7% of our turnover. But we have never spent more than 1%. It is always 1% of our turnover. It's very simple. If uh, turnover is eight, last year 8,000 crore, so ad spend will be less than 80 crore. I'm not saying even 1%. Next year, if it is 10,000 crore, it will be less than 1%, 0.8%, 0.9%, like that only. Amul butter, asli butter. Having said that, is it time for reject as more and more butter substitutes find their way to retail outlets? Adding to Amul's woes is the fact that people themselves are becoming more health conscious. Amul is competing in the market with the world's best food companies, be it Nestle, Britannia or Indian best company like Parle or a lot of regional private companies that are cooperatives. So competition is hitting, but as I said earlier, as our mandate is that we will not spend more than 1% of our turnover. So our marketing strategy is advertise or spend on advertisement what is bare necessity. We, don't, we never overspend. Having said that, Amul has become a regular feature on TV channels, sponsoring shows across GECs. The most recent of this is MasterChef India, a reality cooking show. Not surprisingly, of the 1% that Amul does spend on ads, 90% goes towards above-the-line activities, with just a paltry 10% reserved for hoardings. 
it's not that lately we have gone for sponsoring or associating Amul brand with the TV programs. In 1980s, we started the first, we were the first to start Amul quiz time. We were there for 10 years. Then in 1990, we started with Amul Surbi, which was a very, very popular program. What we do is basically, we do not switch on or switch off with one program or another. Once we select a program, we we are with that property consistently for many years. So people can identify Amul with that property. So clearly, apart from a tweak here and a tweak there, Amul is staying with its success formula. And who can blame them? After all, Amul butter is 90% of the market. Amul, the taste of India. Indeed, Amul is a case study in successful advertising. We now move on to our News of the Week section. Here's a wrap on all the brand launches, updates and campaigns from the world of advertising and marketing. Dancing on Ice Season 5 Z Network recently announced new branding for its English cluster channels, Z Cafe and Z Studio. With an edgy wine pink color palette, Z Cafe seeks to realign itself with its young urban audiences and their bold experimental tastes. Where pink is no longer considered feminine but rather uber sexual. With a broad, confident and yet playful branding, both the channels are banking on the modern and contemporary outlook of today's audiences. But will this work? Only TRPs will tell. Mumbai ki lifeline, local train. Uski lifeline, Tata Power. Tata Power has recently broken its first ever television campaign. The TVC capitalizes on the bond between Mumbaikars and Mumbai's local trains to position Tata Power as a brand that provides life to this lifeline of the city. Obama, cricket team, petrol price, or it's sabke beach, rasgulle. About the timing of the campaign, one should remember that Tatas have been supplying power for commercial purposes for a long time now. But only a year ago, the company has started supplying power to residential customers as well. It's no wonder then that the focus of the current campaign is now on the common man. Coinciding with the winter season in India is another unique season, the marriage season. The months of November, December and January are filled with marriages as several days are considered auspicious during this period. And one brand that aims to ride on this marriage wave is Volkswagen Beetle, which has launched a new campaign. We must say that the campaign is well-timed. After all, in India, it's not unusual to give a fittingly expensive gift on a special occasion such as a wedding. Well, that was about the latest campaigns. Time now for a quick break, but stay tuned. Coming up is what real estate developers are doing to promote their brands in the face of the current controversy. <laughs> 